Yeah, it has been a drastic, demonic, messy ass day. And I'm putting this on Facebook is when I when I finish. I, I can't believe, you know, I know it's people in the street. I know it's homeless people out there. I know it's heck of more stuff going on in people's life that makes them have to have more hell that they're going through. Here I am with Section 8. Y'all know my financial status, whoever know me out there. Because of the death of my son, I struggle and I call myself settling for a pension instead of going, getting up in life, making sure that I still needed to fight harder when it come from whatever I needed to achieve. I, I took my steps back. You know, all of that weird kind of shit that we do when we're living through post-traumatic depression disorder. You know what I'm saying? Because when you lose a kid, you're not motivated to get a mansion. You're not motivated to get where you're going. All that motivated get hit. When, when your child get hit, you get hit. You know what I'm saying? Your stomach drop a little bit more. You know, I lost weight that I've been trying to catch up back on. Catch back up on. You know, yeah, y'all need to hear this out here because I am a very thankful spirit. I am thankful that I'm smart enough to be a smart enough person. I got some people listening to you. You know, when you got people listening to you, you know, you have to watch the way your rhythm of speaking is happening because people act like they ain't listening to you all the time. They getting a, a whole experience of listening to some talk that they don't even hear, that don't even, people don't language in front of them as far as they talk like, none of this. And then all of a sudden you get around me and somebody pull up that's a stranger. And then all of a sudden you can listen to some extra talk. So I'm changing my whole talk right now. And um, basically, let me just pause it. So back to the subject at hand. So the destination that I'm checking for y'all to understand will have a lot to do with me being a, a, a African lady that's black in America, ancestors from the, the, the slave from the slave trade, covered, prayed up armored up in the word word believe in the blood over my life because if it hey hey i'm just like anybody else i'm a human that came in on this planet that before i leave i need to give my oath that i know that jesus was everything no matter in the world of hate and and lies and and deception and messing over kids and ladies and old people you know so all the time i'm just trying to be a part of politics trying to believe in myself my dude tell me I'm a fighter, you know what I'm saying, I'm just trying to believe in the fight that's in me, you know, and, and like I say, so, while I get up in the morning, this all started out up, because my sink got stopped up, now, I can understand that my sink was stopped up, but my whole point about losing $20, after I went and recycled and made $47, it kind of like just put a whole nother, you know, even my dude was like, dang, you tripping over $20, I don't have no money, I have to buy shoes for my son. I have to buy groceries through the month for my house. I still owe 50 on my pg &E, another 50 on my cable. I still have things that need to be taken care of this month. Right now, I got 100 and something in my account just to pay my phone bill. Me and my son sell phone, sell phone bills. I don't even know why it's that much. Oh, yeah, I know why, but I'm just saying, though, you know, I do all of this. And, you know, I try to believe that, you know, through Section 8, you still can stay alive. And because if you got air in you, you can still achieve. 